okay, let's get back to the parent and say, okay, as a parent, how am I helping my kid? Well, the God has designed your child in a certain way. Mm. He has needs. Okay, you got to feed him. You got to mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you got to clothe him. You know, you got to shelter yeah. them. You got to you know, there's things. well the it's the psychological needs that actually are the the kind of are emerging in the education world. I was like, "Oh, wait, they have a need for autonomy." Mm. So you have to when you when you have that inclination like, "Okay, do I choose the school or should they choose the school?" That's actually the right question to ask. Mm. When they're young, yes, you have to make some decisions for them because they don't understand the nature of the question itself. And so you do need, when they're young, to make some decisions and do your best. But then you also have to pay attention and find out how are they showing up there. Mm -hmm. Are they, is that light staying on in their eyes? Are mm. they really grasping who, like, are they tuning into this community and really taking it on and saying, oh, these are my people. <laughs> so mm -hmm. let's keep going. Or these ain't my people. Yeah. They're, they're, it's not working for me. Mm -hmm. And, and, and then, then that's, that becomes that dialogue that you have to have with your child about, okay, you pay attention to it. When they're young, you have to kind of carry the burden a bit. But as they get older, you should really be clear that they need to be making decisions. They, the more decisions they make, the better they're going to get at making decisions. And the more you can enable them to stretch those boundaries of good decision making, like, okay, how can I trust them a little more? Mm. And that's where they have to, you, you're the person they're going to trust, ideally. You're going to be a trustworthy person for them, and they're going to mm -hmm. trust you with decisions. And with, with, but they also have, so, so they have a need for relatedness. They mm -hmm. have to be connected to you, and, and, and they have to have a community of people. So relatedness and autonomy. Mm. Some people sometimes think they're kind of different or opposite, and it's like, nope, it's both. Mm. They have to have a connected, trusting relationships, and they have to have the autonomy to make their own decisions within that community. Within that framework. Yeah, right. Exactly. Exactly. And and that's how God designed us, mm. <laughs> is we have a need, a fundamental need for autonomy, and a fundamental need for relatedness, and a fundamental need to be competent, to feel yeah. competent. So those are the psycholo that's what psychology is saying. Aside from us, so